Hi, this is to accompany my article in the December issue of Worship Musician Magazine where I took a look at the top 25 lists of CCLI reporting from 1989 until today and really focused on the songs from the 1990s, back when I started leading worship in churches, um, when contemporary services really started to grow. I've really overlooked a lot of those old songs, and uh, so that's why I focused on that this week, and uh, spent some time putting together a song by Jack Hayford, Majesty, with I Exalt Thee. We use the chords on the cut capo. E, it's just a one finger. We use a B over D sharp. There's your B chord. It's a triad, grabbing that D sharp note on the fifth string. An A. Most times I will mute out the fifth string so that A is just one uh, finger, an F sharp minor, and an E over G sharp. There's my E, I'll grab that G sharp usually with my thumb. And there's a, a double stop that I'll use off of that B chord. You'll see that B chord is on strings three and four. I'll slide up to fret seven, I'm sorry, nine and eight. I'll also move that up to 11 and nine, 11 and 13. So let's try it out with majesty. And I exalt thee. His majesty unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise. Majesty, kingdom authority flow from his throne. go back into the second part of majesty so exalt lift up on high the name of Jesus and then back into I exalt thee it's a wonderful song of worship that needs not to go overlooked so check out some songs that maybe moved you back 20 or 30 years ago and see if you can bring them back into your worship and using the cut capo is a great way to go